Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Hello and welcome to this episode of our show. This is your host, Keith Doherty. Today, our special guest is top real estate agent Ann Fullen of Fullen Real Estate Group based out of Flushing, New York. Ann began her career in real estate in 1989 and quickly established herself as the leading real estate agent for First Choice Real Estate. In 2005, Ann and her daughters together joined a large real estate organization, and in a short period of time, they were ranked number one sales team in the entire state of New York. How did they do it? Uh, they did it by being the very best in the business. The full and reputation as realtors precedes them throughout Queens, their outstanding knowledge of business, their high standards of personal performance, and their uncanny ability to match buyers and sellers make them a standout in the industry. With all that said, Ann, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, Ann, if we could start, you know, what, what led you uh, into real estate way back in 1989? Was it something that you knew you always wanted to do, or did you maybe kind of stumble into it? Well, actually, I probably stumbled into it. Um, it was back in 1989, and I had four small children at the time, so I was kind of at a crossroads in my life, and I needed a job with flexibility. Um, so somebody had suggested to me to get a, go to the real estate, try real estate. Now, I didn't know anything about real estate, but I thought, that's a good idea, maybe I'll give that a try. Um, so, however, I got my license, and um, after, you know, I got my license, then I went to work with uh, First Choice Real Estate. Um, again, I knew absolutely nothing about real estate or what, what was for, in it for me, um, but I was lucky enough to land at the best real estate company in Queens, um, where I had, you know, worked with two of the greatest mentors, Jack and Steve Lundner. They own the company, First Choice Real Estate. They put me on the right track, and I have to say that I have never looked back. Excellent. And, and Anne, if you could kind of maybe, for our listeners, you know, talk about some of the personal attributes or traits or qualities that you think have most contributed to your success, and maybe talk a little bit about how you developed those. Um, all right. Well, I'd say some of the qualities that have contributed to my success. I have a very good work ethic, um, honesty, um, staying focused. I do branding and being very trustworthy. Now, I was brought up to be honest and hardworking, and those qualities are just instilled within me. Um, people appreciate my straightforwardness. And as they say, people will always do business with whom they like and trust. Absolutely. And, and, and do you think you maybe give us a, a specific <laughs> example or examples of when these traits have played a role in your path towards success? Right. Well, there are many examples. Um, but I suppose one of the more frequent, one, frequent ones is helping people who have had a bad experience maybe with other realtors. Um, I have found people that come to me and they may have had their house listed with a, an agent and the house didn't sell, so they're very disappointed and they're very angry at, at real estate agents because they probably think we're all the same. Um, but I can't really blame them also. Um, but once they do hire me to sell their home, believe you me, it's a nice and day experience. <laughs> And it's okay to promise a lot to your clients, but only if, you, if you're honestly going to deliver everything that you're offering. When I promise my clients that they're hiring the best realtor, um, I honestly live up to my, my promise and I do everything that I possibly can to make them as happy and make a very smooth transaction for them. Excellent. And, and I imagine, Ann, over your, your years of, of uh, you know, building your business that, that not everything has been, you know, smooth sailing. You even mentioned when you started out, you were kind of, you know, getting things going. Could you maybe talk about some of the major adversities uh, or trials that you had to overcome in order to have the success that you've had? All right. Well, I'll start off with the, the major obstacles in starting out. Um, of course, I had no experience in real estate. I had no money. And I didn't have a reputation out there in real estate. And I knew that I wanted to be the best at whatever I did or whatever I do. 
but honestly, I had no idea how to achieve that in real estate when I first started out. However, when I did start working in the real estate, I did start to take out buyers, and I was very successful with the buyers. Um, I honestly have to say that I made sale after sale after sale, and I couldn't believe myself that I, I had the knack for it. And that same year at my company, which was a very large company, we had over 200 agents working at my company. I was nominated the top sales agent of the year for that company. <clears throat> so I became very well known in the area as well. My reputation started to precede me out there. So one day, um, a gentleman came to the office where I was working and he asked for me and he wanted me to list his house. Now, again, I didn't know anything about listing houses. Now I was very good at selling, but I didn't know anything about listing. However, um, I did go to his house. Um, I told him everything I was going to do for him. He was very happy with me, and he said to me, where do I sign the paper? I want to hire you to sell my house. Again, I couldn't believe it. Um, so I was very excited, and honestly, that was the turning key also for my success out there. I became um, a terrific lister. And everybody, everybody for miles around knew who Ann Bolin was. Excellent. And I guess, Ann, what, you know, can you talk a little bit about maybe what, what kept you going despite these obstacles? You know, why didn't you give up? I know you said you wanted to be the best, but really what, what kept you going? What was your driving force? Well, I'm not a person to give up very easily. And I've always worked hard in everything that I did and everything I do because it's also important that I live up to my potential. <laughs> I think that many of us who immigrated from Ireland, and I am I was born and raised in the Emerald Isle, um, you know, we felt that we owed it to our families to succeed in whatever we did. So I all I didn't want to let my family or my any family down here. Um, I just wanted to get out, be the best as is and be happy with everything. Make everybody else happy as Excellent. well. Excellent. And, and kind of, I guess, maybe looking forward a little bit, what, what is your vision for your career and, and your business, say, over the next five years? Well, real estate has always been good to me. Um, at this point, I should probably be thinking about retiring. But to be honest, I love real estate. I love the people, the houses, and I love my community. Real estate actually is in my blood. I've been doing it so long. And I don't think I would enjoy a life without it. So I suppose my five-year plan is to enjoy another five years of selling houses, although I may think about doing less open houses out there. <laughs> yeah. So I guess kind of also on top of that, um, Anne, what do, you, what do you feel the best way that you, you know, obviously you have a stellar reputation that you've built over the years, so you probably get a lot of referrals and repeat business, but what, what do you feel the best way that you continue to market yourself so that you can continue to grow as a, a real estate professional? Right. Well, I've always found marketing to be easy. In the 80s, it was all about being with the right company. In the 90s, we relied heavily on putting out flyers, advertising in real estate magazines, and paper promotions. Um, and of course, since then, we have been heavily involved in marketing online. So to be honest, though the best sustained growth comes from word of mouth, I've seen companies blitz the market with advertisements. But unless you know, you're willing to provide a quality service, you might as well give up at the get-go because you won't last in the business. Oh, absolutely. I, I definitely uh, I agree that, that people can dive in and, and try to make things happen. But if you don't deliver or live up to your reputation, like you said, you can make all the promises in the world. But if you don't yeah. deliver on them, then you're not going to be around that long. That's a guarantee. So I, I think, too, that there's uh, a lot of times there's misconceptions when it comes to, to working with real estate agents, uh, you know, especially, I think, from a selling standpoint, you know, a homeowner might think, oh, I'll just I'll go ahead and put a sign in my yard and I'll sell my house. They don't really realize everything that, that a, an agent brings to the table. So could you maybe talk a little bit about what the biggest misconception or myth people have about working with a real estate agent? Yeah, I think one of the biggest misconceptions people have is that our contribution to the selling process is minimal. 
um, around 10 years ago, this became so prevalent that people started selling their house themselves. But unfortunately for those sellers, they soon discovered that they netted less than if a realtor had been involved, and they had to do all the work. Mind you, I have encountered a few agents in my time who made me understand why realtors aren't always the best loved profession. But honestly, in the past few years, the state has tightened its licensing requirements, which has definitely made the industry far more professional. Absolutely. So, kind of, let's uh, look at a hypothetical uh, situation, <laughs> Anne. If, 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 let's say you get a call from a family member in another state, and they want to sell their home. So they're like, hey, let's let's call Ann. You know, we know she's been doing this. She's got all the experience. You know, what advice would you give them uh, to help them select an agent that could best serve their needs? Kind of how you take care of your people. How would you advise them to, to select an agent that could best serve their needs? Well, I would tell them to ask people that they trust, you know, whom they have used in the past. Um, despite the technology of real estate, is still centered around personal relationship. If a certain name pops up, you know, a couple of times, then look, at, look them up on the Internet. But word of mouth is the way to go. Excellent. And, and if, if somebody uh, wants to, uh, if they need a real estate agent, especially in your area, um, how can they find out more about you and how you can help them? Well, I have my own website, and it is www.annfolin.com. And also, I have my cell phone number, which is 917-882-4327. And uh, my office number is 718-767-8200. So, you know, feel free to call me. And my email address is Annie, A-N-N-I-E-F-O-L-A-N at yahoo.com. Be more than happy right. to help you guys, help anybody. Excellent, Ann. Well, I want to thank you for taking time out of your schedule to come and share your business experience with our listeners here today. And if anybody's listening and you want to learn more about Ann, like she said, you could visit her site at annfolan.com. We're also going to have a uh, – we'll, uh, below this interview, we'll have a link to her website as well as we'll, we'll have her email and phone number uh, so that if you want to contact her, uh, that you'll be able to reach out and get, get in touch with her. So with that said, everybody, until our next show, have a great day, and we'll talk to you all soon. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.